I'm making this video because there was some controversy about the autofocus of, on the Nikon and there were questions whether it was a mistake I was making or some other error, user error that was going on. And well, I'm not infallible, so I did some testing. I wanted to see what was going on. So this video is to try and get to the bottom of what it was. And I think that what might have happened was a problem with the end log. And let me give you an example. Right now I have end log turned off. So as I move this, suppose I'm doing something, you know, I was recording, I panned this in slow, I wanted it to come in slow and then maybe whip around like this. Am I in focus? That's a question. And I think I am. I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to come up here and you'll notice I'll, I'll move around this frame. This is stuff I did in the first video to see if, if it would keep me in focus. I'm just going to duck out of the frame. And I'm back and I'll put up my hand, put it maybe like here. Hand goes in focus, back to face, and And well, you can see that it's, it's holding on the focus way better right now than it was in any of the previous videos. And even with this, with this fairly harsh light right here, it's still somehow hanging on the focus. And I'll be quiet for a second to see if it remembers that I'm human. It hasn't drifted. I can do things like this, I can touch my face, I can look off to the side, I can do stuff like this, I can do what, I mean, any kind of thing you would do within a video, it seems to be hanging on pretty well. I mean, certainly as good as most of the competition. Now, there may be slight drips here and there, very minor, nothing where it loses me like it was initially, where it just cannot pick up on me for any reason. That was weird. And that weirdness seems to largely be gone. I mean, even if I'm, if I'm reaching towards the camera and, and gesturing, it still seems to realize that this is a face and to hang on to the face and unless the face isn't no longer visible. Like if I, if I put my hand up like I did earlier, but then it comes straight back to the face. And that's what, at least that's what I want. I want it to know that I'm human. I want it to pick me up and I want it to record me because when I'm recording, I think I'm the subject, right? Now, let me show you what happens. I'm gonna switch this over and I'm going to turn on N-Log. And I want you to see if there's a difference. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe there's no difference. Let's find out. And now we're in N-Log. So this is gonna be the exact same test with N-Log. We're gonna start with the, with the test where I basically do a sweep and then we're gonna come along and see what happens. So, sweeping, I like like I'm talking. Camera comes along, and then we go back again. Same sweep, so maybe the camera's off to the side and it pans up. You can see we seem to be having some issues right there. So then again, the camera's coming off to the side and it comes over. We're still having some issues. We'll try that one more time. So I'm here talking, chatting away, and the camera sweeps over. And we can see it's a similar issue. Not, certainly not the performance we had a little bit ago. So now we're gonna do some things. I'm gonna move around the frame. Here we're drifting all over. I'm gonna get out of frame. Put a hand up in front of the camera, so right about here. Uh, I want you to realize that we are well within the minimal focal distance of this of this lens. I mean, we it's about one foot 
minimal focal distance and we're, for whatever reason, we can't lock onto this hand, even though there's, there's clearly no head visible here. And we hunt for a while. Well, we've seen this performance before. This is exactly what it does. Of what it did the last time. This is this is the kind of bad performance we saw last time. And nothing else has changed. The only thing that's different now is that we're in M-Lock. See you in the